Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are listening to the second song from Linkin Park's upcoming new album from Zero. This one is a collaboration uh, with League of Legends and it's Heavy is the Crown. Because I've seen some confusion online, I just want to be clear, this is going to be a song on the new album. This is not just a League of Legends paid Linkin Park to make some video game uh, soundtrack type of song. This is a real, official Linkin Park song that's going to be on the new album. But it would be kind of funny if the second song from Linkin Park from this big comeback is just a song about League of Legends, but I don't think it is. I've never played League of Legends, so if there is some reference in the lyrics to the video game, uh, let me know in the comments because it's going to go completely over my head. So let's get into the song. I'll play as much as I can, and then obviously I'll react to the song and kind of talk about everything that's been happening with Linkin Park since the big comeback. All right, so my first initial reaction is, uh, I guess if you like League of Legends and you like Linkin Park, this is probably the greatest uh, music video that you've ever seen. Um, again, never played League of Legends, so I can't really speak about the, the music video and how that was. Now, the song, I think, I haven't gone into the comments yet, uh, but I imagine there's going to be a ton of comments about the scream that kind of comes at the, the second half of the song from Emily Armstrong. Uh, people probably comparing it to uh, Chester's scream in Given Up, which is just, you know, all of these comparisons are never going to end well. It's the internet, uh, but I assume that's what's going to happen. It's funny because I was so positive about the emptiness machine and even whatever two weeks now that it's been, I still like the song. I think it's very good. Uh, a lot of the casual Linkin Park fans are very upset with me. And I think now the hardcore Linkin Park fans are going to be upset with me, assuming they really like this song because... I didn't. I think it sounds pretty generic. It sounds like a generic rock song for a video game. Uh, there's, it's like there's no substance here. Um, it sounds like a generic rock song you would hear on the radio 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago. Nothing is really uh, standing out to me. I mean, does it sound like a Linkin Park song? I mean, I guess. But I think The Emptiness Machine is a million times better than uh, this new song. And I am kind of surprised that I I thought the song would have a little bit more more something. I mean, this is a song that's going to be on the new album. Like I said, it's not just a random uh, single or song for League of Legends. This is an official song that's going to be part of the new album. And it just sounds like a song that I'm going to be skipping when I check out the new album. So the music video was on League of Legends YouTube channel and there wasn't really any interesting comments about the actual song. So I switched over here to the official Linkin Park YouTube page where they put up the song as well. And again, the song came out, you know, 20, 30 minutes ago. So just that for context, uh, that's what I'm seeing uh, the comments coming in now. So let's check them out. Let's see uh, how everyone else is feeling. Uh, this is what you asked for, an actual scream from Emily, amazing, faint, and new divide, just had a baby. This is nostalgia, this is new, this is Linkin Park, Emily vocals on the bridge, oh my, uh, really impressed, uh, Meteora, Living Things, THP, uh, 15 second scream, why is everything so heavy? heavy as the crown, the scream, this legit feels like somebody is giving my childhood back to me, pure nostalgia. Okay, uh, this is what you asked for, two songs, two bangers, I feel faint vibe, this is an amazing song, I feel like I'm back in 2003, I'm completely sold on Emily, new materials, great, absolute cinema, this is peak Linkin Park right here, uh, Linkin Park is back, unique and amazing, peak music, the entire album is going to be amazing, so it looks like a lot more people are more positive about the song than I am, so that's pretty interesting to see, because I was so positive on Emptiness Machine, and I still am, uh, but yeah, this song, Heavy as the Crown, just doesn't do it for me. Again, it was like my first initial listen, so maybe it will grow on me, especially by the time we get to the album, but hey, if everybody's liking it, I'm not going to rain on anybody's parade. This is the second Linkin Park song. So if you have two brand new songs from a band that we never thought was ever going to make new music anyway, 
so kudos to Linkin Park and, and I'm happy that people are enjoying it. So those are my thoughts on the new song, but let's talk a little bit about what's been happening with Linkin Park since the big comeback. So I think that first 24 hours after the live stream and the reveal and all that stuff were pretty positive. Uh, then we found out some more about the new singer, Emily Armstrong. Then there was some backlash. Then there was a statement put out and pretty much everything since that, if we're just looking at it from the, the business side of Linkin Park and the music has been overwhelmingly positive. Uh, the song, like you see here, is topping all of the rock and alternative charts. And I think a lot of that has to do with, as I've said a million times on the channel before, there really is no a mainstream outlet for rock music anymore, but the nostalgia for the 2000s kind of period of rock music, emo, pop, punk, punk rock, is really at an all-time high, and you really can't get more nostalgic than a big band reuniting, obviously, uh, with Linkin Park, and then the announcement of a new singer, what was happening, the countdown that reverted back to a, a count up, all of that stuff. So uh, the marketing was pretty you know, perfect for Linkin Park here. It got everybody talking. Then everybody at least checked out the new song initially. Whether you liked it or you didn't, you probably clicked play and you got that as a uh, stream for Linkin Park. So this new song has been everywhere. Linkin Park even played on the uh, Tonight Show. So as far as like rock music, this was kind of like the first big rock music news that we've had in a long time. And it was a bunch of things happening at once. You had Linkin Park coming back. You had uh, Jane's Addiction fighting each other on stage. And then we had the Dave Grohl news. So after rock music being nowhere <laughs> anywhere in the mainstream news for years, uh, we had those three stories. And uh, of course it was those three stories. So I guess uh, rock music is back in the mainstream at least. And on top of the new song, Linkin Park has been selling out almost every single concert that they've had since the uh, reunion announcement. I think as of right now, I think they're over in London playing the O2, and I think that's close to a sellout. So again, everything on like the business side is pretty positive for Linkin Park. And it was so interesting for me, obviously I talk about rock music all the time, but it was interesting to see this big band come back and rock music be, you know, thrust back into the spotlight and see casual Linkin Park fans reacting to the new song and the announcement, hardcore Linkin Park fans reacting to all of that. And I <laughs> I always find it just so funny, especially on some of the shorts that I put out uh, of me reacting to the emptiness machine about so many people calling other people posers. Like, and I mean, so many of the casual Linkin Park fans, which I am, again, a casual Linkin Park fan, but so many people were like, oh, this isn't, you know, real Linkin Park. This isn't authentic Linkin Park. And they've only listened to like two of the, what, seven and now eight albums that Linkin Park has. So I just think that's really, uh, really funny. But I think in the hardcore Linkin Park fandom that the reaction to the first song has been overwhelmingly uh, positive. So it's going to be interesting to see what, you know, Linkin Park fans, hardcore Linkin Park fans, not you casual fickle fans, um, really think about the new song. Uh, if we're look, just looking at the comments of immediately after this song has come out, it's pretty positive. So those are my thoughts on the brand new Linkin Park song, Heavy is the Crown. Let me know what you think about the new song down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please like the video. It really helps me out. Please subscribe if you haven't. And thanks for watching.